Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can also display a special type of filter called a custom auto filter that you can customize by using any available comparison operator in conjunction with wildcard characters. Using a custom auto filter allows you to display records using a custom set of comparison criteria that you create. To apply a custom auto filter, just click the auto filter drop down arrow button next to the column header by which you want to filter the data. Roll down to either the text filters, number filters, or date filters command in the drop down menu. The command name changes depending upon the type of data stored within the column. In the side menu that appears, you will see many of the available comparison operators. You can select one of these if desired, or you can simply choose the custom filter command. When you do this, Excel will open the custom auto filter dialog box. In the custom auto filter dialog box, you select the desired comparison criteria from the upper left drop down box. Next to it, in the upper right drop down box, you can either enter a value or select a value from the drop down list. If you enter a value, note that you can choose to use wildcard characters to represent unknown data values within the list if desired. The characters that you can use, and what they represent, are shown in a small listing at the bottom of this dialog box. So for example, if you entered J question mark question mark as a criteria value, you would filter for three character words that start with the letter J, like Joe, Jim, Jam, and others. If you specified J asterisk as your filter criteria, you would filter for any word that starts with the character J, like Jennifer, Joe, Jacob, and so on, regardless of the length of the word. Wildcard characters can appear before or after the known values to find unknown characters that either precede, appear between, or follow the known characters. You can also specify a second filter criteria as you create the first if you wish. To do this, create the first criteria and then select either the AND or OR option buttons in the middle of the custom auto filter dialog box to connect the two conditions that you create. If you select the AND option, then the value in the field must meet both conditions in order to be displayed in the result set. If you select the OR condition, the field values will be displayed if they meet either criteria specified. Next, create the second criteria in the same way that you created the first criteria. When you have created your own custom filter criteria, just click OK to apply the selected criteria to the selected field. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www dot teachucomp dot com forward slash free.